together. Clap. Oh, both same. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. There you go. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Ready, add, add that into the, yeah, into the interview. Here for you. All right. Welcome to Coach Adam and Friends. Uh, this is my first episode of this podcast, and I'm with my main man, Jeff Evans. What's up, bro? Appreciate What's it. What's up, man? Yeah. I know we've been talking about <laughs> this for a while, so I'm excited that we finally get to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to start off with a little background. Tell me about yourself. Um, yeah, we'll start there. Got you. So, uh, Jeff Evans, um, I guess how I de like, describe myself is I'm a father, even though technically I'm not a husband, I say I'm a husband. Um, and I, I want to make an impact with people. Like those three things I try to make sure when I wake up in the morning, I'm focusing on those. Um, but born and raised Fort Myers, Florida, west coast of Florida. I'm a, uh, sibling is out of all of us it's a blended family but it's 18 of us wow so my dad and stepdad my dad has seven my stepdad has 11 so it's a lot of kids that's a lot yeah. of kids man. <laughs> so anytime I tell people that it's like like what in the world like nobody was thinking about I, protection. I think you got it I think you got a record <laughs> man that's a lot of kids yeah so so with that like and not all of them stayed in the same house it was like six or seven at the same time sleep sleepover stuff like that but um, I Growing up, I've all, I was always like the black sheep because I was like, like always thinking bigger. Like this can't be it because like my mom worked two, three jobs at a time. We lived in the in the hood area, you know, people selling drugs, stuff like that around. My dad had a, we lived in a nice area where he was. Um, they got divorced when I was like five, six. Lived in a nicer area, but same thing. He worked long hours, 14, 15 hours as a as a barber. So that's where I get my hard work from. Like you see, we've known each other for years now. And you see like, when I wake up, like it's go time. Like I, I wanna feel like dead tired by the end of the day to feel like I've done something. But where my parents made the mistake is no strategy involved. So now like I'm trying to do that or add that to, to my, uh, my arsenal because I want my daughter to be able to be a step up above me, you know? I guess the, the important parts of like my story in the early beginning what molded me into this. So when I was five, around five, six, I was molested twice. And I tell this all the time because I want people to be aware, like it happens a lot. So like, you know, with kids always be cautious and stuff like that. Um, but that brought a lot of issues down the road and relationships and stuff. So that's, you know, stuff I'm working on. Actually next week I have my first therapy session. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, because I just still feel like it's something there. And my girl's always telling me like, you know, you should try it, you should try it, so. Um, I was nervous about that, but like I'm excited about, you know, digging deeper, even though like I'm aware of all of it, it's still like I'm not putting the pieces together for some reason. Um, so that happened. Uh, my parents got divorced around that same time. Uh, and then when I was 13, so it was a very to toxic like relationship between my parents. They're young, arguing all the time, fights, police, DCF, like all that craziness. And for a kid that doesn't have a way, like an outlet to speak up and stuff like that. Cause in our, like how we were raised in the black community is sit down, shut up, be a kid. Like stay out of grown folks business. Mm -hmm. So with that, that's how we were raised. So like, it's like, whether I'm sad or upset or whatever it is, you don't have a way to like let that out and, and like bring more understanding to situations. So I took that, their relationship was my fault. So when I was 13, I remember um, I got in trouble or something, and I remember going in the bathroom and sitting on the toilet crying, and I took, I had a piece of cloth, and I took it and trying to strangle myself. And I remember locking the door right before, and right when I was like blacking out, my stepdad actually walked in and ran up and snatched it off of me. And we actually talked about that uh, after the CrossFit Games, which I know is jumping ahead, but we actually talked about that Cause it was in a news article because i remember sitting back right before i walked out on the podium to you know get an award and stuff like that um i gave it to him he read it and i was like thank you because i wouldn't have been able to experience that if i had actually got followed. Chills even hearing that <laughs> as well. yeah like so that's why like that at that point when he stopped me it was something in my brain that clicked like 
like um, I hate the situation I'm in, my parents, my family, like I hate the situation and the environment we're in. So like from this point forward, it's all about elevating myself and then going back to teach everybody else. So, which you know, we were just talking before about, you know, educating one of my buddies because I don't want to see them, like all these people I follow and, and uh, you know, they're 50s, 60s, millionaires or whatever. Like they teach us lessons, so I'm absorbing that and I don't want other people to make the same mistakes they did, you know, or my parents did or whoever. It's so important, man. Like my dad didn't graduate middle school, my mom didn't graduate wow. high school, you know, coming from parents that, you know, made minimum wage, mm -hmm. did what they could, you know, they tried as hard as they could, but they didn't have the time to really teach us yep. financial literacy, you know, survival. how to save money, it, you know, it was all sur survival. Yep. Uh, so I completely understand and, and I know you're sharing some financial advice with me, so I'm excited <laughs> about that. Yeah, bro. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it makes, it makes it more fun when you see yourself, like you start applying these little things, little habits and you know, six months a year down the line it's like damn imagine when i get 10 years of doing this like where i'll yeah. be at so like i'm excited about that type of stuff but but yeah from that 13 years old trying to you know in my life to being stopped getting into high school i was always good at sports i was super fast so i got into track uh in middle school eighth grade really good ninth grade same thing tried football ended up getting a football scholarship um, and throughout all of high school, like I was still going through depression and stuff because I just, in my mind, I just couldn't understand like why I was like holding on to stuff. Because again, sit down, shut up. Like we don't deal with our issues, talk about them or anything. You sweep it just under cover, the rug. Yeah, cover it up, it it'll be fine. Yeah. And now like the way the world is, is all about mental health and expressing yourself and stuff, which I love it. Um, but back then it wasn't like that. So I use sports to cover all that up. So I got better and better and that's all I focused on. Like literally me and my, I was talking to my buddy yesterday from high school, he ended up getting a scholarship going off to uh, Liberty and or Air Force and then Liberty. But I remember we, in high school, we used to jump the gate during off hours and weekends to go train and practice. So like I was consumed by that stuff because my parents didn't have money for me to go to college. So it was either military or get a scholarship. So I spent like all of my time training. Like I, I remember seeing a year I had four gym periods, two in the morning, two in, two in the afternoon, literally same workout for two hours, go in the afternoon, same workout and then go practice. Like that's how that's serious that I grit comes Yeah, from, bro. Man. It's like you just put in the work. Yeah. And so I ended up getting a scholarship, going to Southern Illinois, uh, played all four years there. Then I finished uh, in 2010, 2011, graduated. I'm the first uh, of all my family to graduate college. That's awesome. And I'm the first boy, all of my brothers dropped out of high school. So being, uh, being the first to go to college was, was the best thing, but at the same time, so my parents, because they didn't have you know, a lot of money and, and just chaotic lifestyles, they weren't able to make my graduation. And for me, that I didn't know it at the time until I started like doing more self-awareness stuff and digging deep into why like, I am the way I am. Like that, them not being there, that hurt me like crazy because like I did it for them. And at that point I knew like I, I need to start doing stuff for me, you know? So I remember there that night, my dad ended up, he missed his flight. That's why he didn't make it because he was dealing with his you know issues and whatnot. But that night it was cool having him there, but it was like that sour kind of sour taste in my mouth. is mental health yeah uh, and it's something that we don't talk about as men you know that yeah. men can get depressed too mm -hmm. and that we the high suicide issues, rates the high suicide rate you know and we we have this culture where we just if you're a man you just gotta man up no yep. you gotta sweep it under the rug and man up mm -hmm. but that creates toxic culture in your household now you're angry with your wife you don't know why you're constantly holding all this baggage you know, yep. all this stress and frustration on you and you don't know why it's because you never address it mm -hmm. you know you never confronted it no one's ever taught you how because especially i latin you know it's it's, <laughs> it's it, you know machismo is, yep. it means you're Big time. macho it, it's not uh, manly to express emotion mm -hmm. it's not manly to talk about your feelings 
which is something that I'm happy that's way behind me at this point. No. Um, <laughs> but uh, again, t- uh, touching on the fact that you're going to a therapist next week. No. You know, started therapy when I was 26. You know, my dad passed away when I was 18. Caused a whole lot of chaos Things in my that, life. Yeah. And I had to almost avalanche through life and just figure it out as I went on because there was no one to really tell me what to do. No. Um, kind of guide you. Yeah, um, but it helped me a lot um, and it helped me understand uh, why I was a certain way or why I wasn't a certain way, which I think is equally as important. Yep. And um, I, I'm real happy that you're doing that. So, yeah. So, let appreciate me know how that goes. Man. Yeah, yeah. I, um, it took me a while. So, like, when I was trying to find a therapist, I kept making excuses. And this is like six, eight months ago. She was telling me, she kept saying, like, you keep doing the same stuff, like, you just you just brush it off or whatnot. So I was in the car, we were texting back and forth out there a couple of days of just, like, keep button heads. Because the, yeah, the way she communicates, she's super empath. I'm super, like, stone cold. And she likes to talk literally everything out. Even if some something so, like, minuscule and, and just irrelevant, she still wants to talk about it. And I'm the complete opposite. Like, I, if it doesn't concern me and, and my goals on getting us to a certain place, like, I, I don't care. And I've always been like that. Like, I'm focused on the mission, like military type mindset. So she kept texting me all this stuff, and I'm in the middle of work, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna look right now. So I stopped everything I was doing, went online, spent like 30 minutes looking through, and I ended up, it's uh, betterhealth.com. So you can do video, uh, phone call with them. It was like 30 minute sessions. I paid for four of them. I was like, let's do it. Oh man. Like, a lot of just growth ex- is about ex- to happen. Yeah, just man. execute and like just get it done. So now it's on my books. Like I can't get out of it. Good. I already paid the money. 